Hey everybody, day nine. Um, today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about why I started having that 15 minutes in the morning and having a coffee. Because I noticed I mentioned it in a couple of the videos and I never actually got down to why I do that. Um, now, there's so many benefits from having that 15 minutes of quiet. There, I get a lot from that. But I want to talk particularly today about the main reason why I started to do that. And I had to walk backwards because sometimes what happens is when you start to put in um, steps of self-care on a daily basis, it just starts to become part of your routine because you've realised that actually this works for me and it just starts to become part of your routine. And before you know it, months have passed and you forget why you actually started to do it in the first place and what the benefit of it is. And then what happens is that we couldn't fall out of the habit of doing it and we fall back into the old habits of what we were doing, the bad habits. Um, that was the reason we started to put the practice in in the first place. So I was thinking back of what the reason was. Um, and like I said, there is so many benefits from having that. And I, I might do another video with, and get into that. But I want to talk particularly today about the main reason, which was that I had a terrible habit of deciding that my day was going to be the worst day ever before it even started. So, I mean, I could decide the night before. Like I knew, the, I know the next day I had some hard things that I had to do. And I'd say tomorrow is just going to be the worst day ever. And I'd wake up the next morning and I'd reaffirm to myself, oh, I just want this day to be over. It hasn't even started. I want it to be over. It's going to be the worst day ever. And then I'd go on about the day and congratulate myself all day. You knew it. You are right. Look it. That's after going wrong. That fell and smashed. The kids are wrecking me. I knew today was going to be the worst day ever. Didn't I say it yesterday? Didn't I? I knew it. Well done. I fucking knew it. When you decide that a day is going to be the worst day ever, Guess what it's going to be? The worst day ever. And I'm not talking about the actual worst days in our life. So like funerals and those really, really hard days, they are the worst days ever. I'm talking about when you have a day where you're stressed out, you're pissed off, you have a list as long as your arm of things that you need to do, or it's a day where you have to go and do something that you really, really don't want to do, but you have to do it. Like going to court. Like who likes that? So those days, and I had a terrible habit of confirming to myself, yep, yeah, it's going to be a horrible day, horrific, oh, this day. So I realised that in those moments where I am going to have a bad day and, I'm, I, and I hear myself say, this is going to be the worst day ever, I stop myself. I hear that line in my head and I stop myself. And I say, hold on a minute. If tomorrow is going to be a hard day, or it could be in the morning, and I'm saying, if I know today is going to be a hard day, what can I do to make this day easier? What can I do to take some of the stress away from it? What can I do nice for myself to say, well done, after getting some of this stuff done? That way, you're helping yourself out. You're helping yourself get through the day a little bit more stress-free rather than just going about the day and it really being the worst day ever. So that is why I started having my 15 minutes in the morning because I found that most of my days I felt like that. Most of my days I was going, oh, this day, I just want this day to be over. This is going to be the worst day ever. And by sitting down and having me 15 minutes and having a cup of coffee, I'm taking some deep breaths and I'm thinking through what's going to, what actually has to be done today. And what I found some of the times was that some of the things that I was saying, oh, I have to do this and oh, I have to do that, were actually just things that, you know, I kind of enjoy doing. But because I've been doing them on a regular basis, they just became a bit boring. Like cooking the dinner. <laughs> I actually love cooking healthy meals for the kids. But then when you're doing it day in, day out, you're like, oh, I have to cook another dinner. You know what I mean? So maybe on that day, order in if you can afford it. Or, you know, go and buy one of those ready-made dinners like a, in Centra for six fifty that you just throw in the microwave. <laughs> do you know what I mean? But the 15 minutes gives you time to process why do I think that this is going to be the worst day ever? What do I actually have to do today that I really don't want to do? What is going to happen today that I really just don't like? 
And what can I do for myself to either to prevent those things from happening or to get through them a little bit easier? All right. So that's day number nine done. <laughs> and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.